Today begins the celebration of Navratri. I've had the honor to celebrate Navratri by attending many Garba events and meetings with many patriotic Canadians. As our country goes through hard times, Durga's message of hope is needed now more than ever, and Hindus have been champions of that peace and hope. Welcome to the final episode of Three Oceans. In its current format, that is. And more on that in a second. Now, if Canadian politics was the WWE, Pierre Polyev's tweets yesterday would count as a heel turn. Yes, the conservative leader has officially confirmed what many have been speculating for some time now. We'll also look at how unchecked immigration from India is already leading to waves of foreign interference in plain sight, right out in the open, opening Canada up to political engineering from the outside. But today's big announcement is that Three Oceans will be going through a reboot this week. When I started this channel a few months ago, it initially took off like a rocket. Subscribers and views were pouring in and I was having a great time producing videos with the intention of helping to promote a right-wing direction for Canada. Turns out it was all just an illusion. All YouTube was doing was showing me love for the first five weeks to encourage me along and get my footing and then just suddenly the algos stopped showing me that love. Everything just suddenly dropped off. I found this very bizarre given that my videos were scoring very well in just about every metric. Great click-through rates, the majority of viewers stayed beyond the first 30 seconds, and my likes to views ratios were off the hook. It was very discouraging to say the least. So I reached out to Dave at Moose on the Loose a while back, and he was kind enough to respond and reassure me that this is all part of the process, and that when he started his channel, YouTube did the exact same thing to his videos. So props to Dave for the reassurance. Props also go out to Krusty Canuck, who's been helpful to me in his own right, and is working hard at continuously growing his channel, so I recommend you check that out. I will put a link to his channel in the show notes, so be sure to check that out. So what exactly is the reboot going to entail? Well, for beginners, I will no longer be a faceless voice. This week, I'll be joining the ranks of the talking heads in Canadian politics here on YouTube. After seeing how Northern Perspectives views and subscriber count absolutely exploded after they came out from behind the curtain, I figured maybe it's about time I do the same. So why would I do a faceless channel in the first place? Well, to be honest, time efficiency. You see, this isn't my first YouTube channel, so I know what kind of work goes into producing different types of video formats. With a faceless channel, I never have to worry about missing any points as everything's written. And when you go talking head, there's a risk you'll miss talking points or maybe not deliver them exactly as originally intended. Then there's also that whole thing about not being a natural in front of the camera and needing several takes to get it right. And believe me, you're, you're going to see exactly what I mean by that when I start appearing in front of the camera. It's it's going to look kind of weird. You'll see for yourself when this actually happens because there are going to be a lot of cuts. And <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but it's something I'm willing to go through now. So with the faceless formula, I largely had it down to a formula. And with that formula, I knew exactly how much time I need to budget to produce a video. But unfortunately, it seems as though I'm being forced into making a change because the metrics aren't budging. Despite getting good reception on the videos, YouTube just isn't moving that needle forward. So this new direction certainly will be a test, but it's time to face that test. And speaking of tests, Pierre Polyev failed one of the biggest tests this weekend and enraged many of his supporters with two very poorly planned tweets, which you can check out for yourself right here. While viewers of this channel are well aware that I am anti-Trudeau and simply cannot wait to see him out of office and the Liberal Party destroyed, that does not make me a de facto conservative. The conservatives do not have me on their side by sheer virtue that they are the opposite of the liberals. When you have a system like the one we have here in Canada, it gets very difficult to put your faith in that system. And I see all existing parties as being contributors to the problem with that system. And with his tweets, Polyev confirmed that he will not tackle what is one of the absolute biggest problems facing Canadians today, mass immigration and not just from any country. The amount of immigrants coming from India lacks any and all sense of proportion. What makes this lack of proportion even worse is the disdain so many immigrants from India have for integration as well as respecting Canada's laws and its firmly established norms and customs. We see it every day on social media, from innocuous trade 
traits like not washing one's hands after cutting a deuce to dumping their household garbage in public garbage pails to avoid collection charges. And then there's the poaching of salmon during spawning season, as well as turning the grounds they celebrate the Wally on into landfills. We have a massive compatibility issue. Through his tweets, Polyev is insulting our intelligence and telling us that there is no issue, that it's simply not important. And look at the headlines just from this morning. Not only is this uncontrolled access to Canada giving newcomers from India the idea that we're an all-you-can-eat buffet, but their media channels are now attacking us on a massive scale. What you see here? That's foreign interference in plain sight. Since Canada has been having a lot of talk about non-confidence votes these past few weeks, I'm here by saying I have no confidence in Pierre Polyev fixing Canada's immigration problem. I know he'll bring positive change to taxation. I know he'll bring positive change to the budget, but he is not the man for the job as far as securing our borders and protecting Canadian values. That said, I will not be voting conservative in the next election. As much as I detest Justin Trudeau, as much as the liberals disgust me, I will not give Pierre Polyev that free, easy vote he believes he's entitled to simply because he's not Justin Trudeau. If you live in a writing that is true blue and at no risk of falling into the hands hands of the Liberals or the NDP, I encourage you to consider doing the same. Thank you for watching and do consider subscribing in time to catch the Three Oceans reboot. I'll catch you in the next brand new format.